Welcome to the First 40 Sports Show with the squad. It's Black Thor, Ice, Water, and Puma. Let's go to college football. Man, it has shifted so much in college football. Oregon is now number one. And um, can you believe it, Ice, that Indiana is higher in the rankings than Alabama at this particular point? Your thoughts on college uh, football. And um, what statement did Georgia trying to send Texas last week? Because they want that number one spot really bad. And uh, teams to watch out for. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna say I told y'all so, but I told everybody was celebrating. I warned y'all this is gonna be the week, and look how it exploded. Welcome to Austin. Anyway, I'm just saying you just gotta watch out. You never know. Texas, what can you say, man? Georgia said we don't care what y'all gonna do. Y'all can throw bottles on the field. You can change the referees. You can do whatever you want to do, and they like we're not stopping. That was uh, great, what I call intestinal fortitude by Georgia because everything was against them. I mean, you could complain and saying they weren't getting calls, but they did what they had to do. Texas, I think, was it was very interesting to me that they got behind, and you knew we talked about all year how good they were, right? And then the one thing I think I told you this off air, Puma, is a telling sign for me is the fact that, that they started playing musical quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. They got behind. It's like, they oh, shit, we yeah. got to try something different. We got to do something different. I'm like, mm, nah, bro. You just, it, it's one thing to change the rhythm and put a quarterback in for a couple possessions, but then you got to say, who we going with the rest of the way? And they kept going back and forth, back. I was like, nah, Georgia's like, nah, we ain't having it. So now the testament is going to be, what is Texas going to do when they start? Do Are they going to stick with one quarterback? They're going with two? When you start getting into the tight games, you got to make a decision. If they play musical quarterback, I think they're going to be in trouble. Um, and I think Georgia was like, shoot, you know, we got beat by Alabama, but at the same time, we right here. We still a good team in the going off into Austin. That was very impressive. Tough place to, me. to play. Tough place to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm going to get out the way because I know it's so much. I know y'all, everybody jumping. I ain't going to touch Indiana. I'm going to leave that to y'all. I'm going to say two teams real quick. And I cannot wait. One of them is happening this weekend. Navy versus Notre Dame and Army. Army is the truth, bro. I cannot wait to see everybody, the little Notre Dame fans out there. Oh, yeah, we're making them. Okay. We got Navy this week and Army is to follow. We're going to see where you at after that. So, so much going on. And last but not least, even though I, I, I hate to give it to them, Got to give some love to Illinois, man. Illinois is six and one. They was like, we held Michigan to seven points. Seven points? That's crazy. I'm going to let y'all have it. All right, Black. A lot of things happening in college football. Uh, Ice called it last week. It's going to be a lot of changes, and he called it right. I never thought Oregon would be number one in my lifetime, but they are sitting at the number one spot. Um, what statement did Georgia – was trying to give to Texas and the rest of the country. And who are the teams to watch for? I don't know if they're trying to give a statement, man. I think that's why they play their game, man. I think they just play their game and, and playing their game. We sh they show that Texas just don't have it. Texas has been riding the horse. Basically, they came into the conference. They riding the horse of the big Yahoo! And they really haven't done anything. So they got the Georgia. Georgia showed this is what SEC football is really about. It ain't about where you've been. It's where you are now. So you got to step it up some. If you don't believe it, Talk to that coach at LSU. He's figuring it out the hard way. So I don't think they've made a point of that. I think that's what Georgia is basically week in, week out. We just kind of looked at the big play at Alabama and kind of thought, you know, because they lost Alabama, you know, they weren't Georgia. They're still Georgia, man. They're still Georgia. I love the fact that this NIL and all this stuff, man, and players getting paid and the transfer portal has brought excitement to college football every single weekend, boss. That's what I'm loving. Teams that we probably never paid attention before, Indiana. We didn't think about them. You know, like you said, they were ranked higher than Alabama now. When the last time that has happened? Come on, man. Alabama, we assume they're going to show up and always be good. They're not the same anymore. The players have to kind of went to different places. The coaching now is not what it used to be. Nobody's scared of no one now, man. They go in these schools on auditorium, they go in these schools fields now. They're playing football, man. So we just the benefit of being able to join some good college football every weekend, man. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, I, you know, just watching college football Saturdays, sometimes I, I plan other things to do Saturday, but once I get into a game or two, and I'm like, nah, I can't, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it because I don't want to miss this game. Colorado, one game away from a bowl game, 
They've sure. been good football too. They stood up this week. I got to give them kudos on defense because that was the thing I thought that they could not really do, but they stood up on defense and they were hitting like uh, nobody's business. Um, Deion Sanders' son, uh, who plays safety, he had a bad game last week. He came back with a vengeance this week. And that showed me that, you know, they are growing as a team. One game away from a bowl game. I think that's the goal this year. Uh, let's go to NFL football. Uh, we've been doing great in our picks, so check out our NFL pick show. Doing really great in our picks, and it's a tight race. We'll give you all the numbers in that show. Make sure you see that show because Pop is still leading with Ice. They're still tied. Uh, they can't get away from each other. I think it's, uh, Ice is his new son right now because they they just uh, stick as thieves right now. <laughs> he ain't thinking about me and you, Mark. <laughs> we supposed to be family. But anyway... <laughs> What's I doing? What's I doing? But anyway, what are some, I'll go back to Black, what are some of the things that stood out in the NFL? And then there's one story where Watson gets hurt, and you text me something, and then we find out he's out for the year. Um, tough break for this young man, and then his responses from his teammates. Your thoughts, man? You know, it's interesting, and I must apologize. I thought the cat was faking that. When I saw him went down and highlight, I said, I, I don't think he was hurt for real, but obviously I was wrong. I apologize, girl. Um, I heard this, you know, some of the fans' reaction. I'm sorry, man. I, and people are coming at the fans and saying, well, they, should, they shouldn't have shared or whatever. Come on. That captain's stealing money. There. People, they've been paying to watch that garbage you've been putting on the field. Right or wrong, they're entitled to their opinion. believe it there. I look around the league, man, yesterday, and I'm looking at Green Bay and Houston. And two, two young teams have basically bowed out. Green Bay basically did everything they could to give that game to the Texans. Everything they could. The quarterback was just giving them the ball like, on a plan to take this, and Green Bay found a way to win in the end. But in reality, man, to me, the biggest thing I noticed, it may not sound this big, is that Dan Campbell, if you stop being so much of a gambler, your team is going to win the Super Bowl, boss. You cannot. You cannot always go for these fourth downs when there's no need to. Your first your first series of the game, you give them seven points. You keep them in the game. Put them in the game before you score. Some of these tries, man, you got to start doing a little better because your team didn't win the Super Bowl last year if you're a little bit more disciplined within yourself. So as the season progressed, if that if the coach disciplines himself, they got to help a team, man, because they were they were rock and roll with the Vikings yesterday. The Vikings have nothing to hug their head about. They didn't win, but they battled to the end, and that division is rough, bro, real rough. And Buffalo Bills got themselves receiver. You may not play every week, but they got themselves receiver. And don't look now, Jets. Aaron Rodgers going to return 41. <laughs> we'll talk about that a little bit later. I, I'm, I'm looking at the Chicago Bears, who I think are, are four and two. They're in last place in that division. That's a tough division. <laughs> That's a real tough, the uh, NFC Central. Your thoughts, man, and, and what's happening in Cleveland with um, with Watson? Um, I, I thought um, your boy, uh, Jameis, famous Jameis, uh, put it uh, exactly where it should be. He's like, this guy works hard just like all of us, despite how you feel about him. Um, he's putting his, his body and line, life on the line, playing for us. And, um, you know, have some class and not boo. But I always say Cleveland can't have nice things, just like sometimes um, that team up in New York, the Knicks, can't have nice things too. Your thoughts, man? Yeah, let's start with Cleveland, man. I mean, seriously, you don't want anybody to get hurt, but Deshaun Watson, it's like it's, you can't catch a break. And people are going to always point to back what was happening or what the charges against him. But don't nobody deserve that, bro. Nobody deserves to be hurt like that. And, all of the money. I mean, it, it's just really sad. They put all the uh, all the eggs in one basket, and now you're in a position with Chubb coming back that they need to find somebody to play quarterback. I don't know if it's too late. Still got a solid defense, but uh, the guy with the three names and something, something Thompson. And I'm just gonna say that <laughs> taking over for Jameis is like you got to figure it out because they deserve better. You got tight ends, you got a running back now, you got so many things. Somebody has, needs to learn how to become a manager, game manager, so they can try to win a few games. But it's looking crazy because they what? It might be too late. They're like one. Is it one and six? What is that? Are they? Yeah. Yeah. One and six might be too late. So you might get ready for the draft. But uh, that's gonna be tough for Cleveland overall. Other than that, uh, Vikings, man. Seriously, all I'm gonna say is, you trying to go for two, dude? Just take the kick the kick the extra point. The ball game's tied. I mean, sometimes you can be in your, getting your own way. And I know it was said about earlier about the Lions doing the same thing. The Vikings are a very good team. They battle, and they're doing too much. Texans, I think they just so close, but they still have a little ways to go. 
And uh, I didn't think so at first, but uh, especially with the wide receiver being hurt again for San Francisco out for the season, I think it's a wrap for the 49ers this year, bro. Especially, I mean, how quick can McCaffrey come at back? And if he does come back, I don't think they're going to be able to do uh, do much, too much of anything. That's a different type of thing there. But uh, I'll say this. Uh, you just don't know what's going to happen. You see teams like, I thought it was a hell of a game, Seattle versus uh, the Falcons. You just never know. You say Atlanta's going to win that game, turn around. Geno Smith is like, hey, no, nah, we got a little something over here. It's so wide open right now. I mean, except for perhaps, or except for maybe the Chiefs who find a way to get things done. Name me another dominant team that you say definitely, that's a team I know I can bank on. There's not. And I think that's going to make it so wide open. Uh, like I was telling somebody before, that's why I think, and I don't know what the Chiefs are going to do, but I told you about Baltimore. I've been speaking that all day long about Baltimore early. I'm even checking the odds to see what it is for them to win the Super Bowl if they just make it. Because uh, if them odds is right, I'm going to put me a bet down. Oh, I'm going to have somebody else do it for me because I can't bet for the tax purposes. But uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting in I'm just waiting to see what happens because now things are getting real tight and we're going to find out what a lot of these teams are made of and we're going to find out soon who are the pretenders and who are the contenders. Yeah, two things real quick. I thought uh, Tomlin made a big mistake looking at the beginning of that game with, with uh, Russell Wilson and then Russell kind of got his legs under him and, and looked like the old Russ um, getting that ball down, down the field. A good win for the Pittsburgh Steelers over uh, the New York Jets. And uh, who you going to blame now, Aaron Rodgers? Who you going to blame now? Um, <laughs> you got the coach fired. You got all the players that you wanted. Who you going to blame now? It's, it's, it's you throwing those interceptions and, and messing up that team. And so um, those are the, um, the two things that I kind of picked up um, um, yesterday. Let's go to Major League Baseball. And seems like old times, Ice. It's the Yankees versus the Dodgers in the World Series. And it just reminds me of my childhood. And um, these were the two best teams. And they're going to be going at it this coming Friday. Your thoughts on this, man. And the playoffs overall. I told Black yesterday before we did our show with Black Men Talk yesterday that th these playoffs have been very exciting. Some of them have been very intense, especially uh, the last Yankee game to close out the game where you had Soto. That's what they brought him there for, to hit them home runs. And that's what he did. Bam. Well, first of all, we warned you early on that two teams that spent the most money <laughs> – should be there. But the most money, as much as some Yankee fans, I won't mention no names, <clears throat> was crying and whining all year long. Well, you know, I don't know what's wrong with them. And here we are. They make it. They make it. So they're there. But kudos to, first of all, the Guardians who made it to the, to the championship. Cleveland, that is. They gave all that they had. They kind of overachieved a little bit. Very excited about them. Also, you got to give uh, kudos to the Mets. Yeah. You know, the Mets kind of stepped up and they gave you all of their hat. But in the end, money talk, BS walk. Again, the Dodgers. If the Dodgers, and I know you love the Yankees, but if the Dodgers do not win this, it's going to be a travesty because they spent the money. Oh, are you serious? Do you see Otani? Yeah. Man, that dude, like they needed more, right? <laughs> like they needed more. Seriously, the, the, the Dodgers, like they needed more talent. Then they're going like, and it's like, wow, who's going to hit this time? It's like having a round robin of yeah, all stars. And he hasn't even started pitching yet. That's what I, I'm waiting but, for. But he's not pitching till next year. They're going to win the World Series without him throwing a pitch. So yeah. what you going to do the next couple of years? <laughs> he's not for the next 19 years if we stay healthy. So for one reason, I'm glad that they, are, they both made it. I hope that it lives up to the hype. They spent a lot of money. I hope it, it lives up to the hype so people can really see the talent on both of these teams. I think it can be very exciting. It'd be interesting to see how they play. I don't hear any excuses about what such and such was hurt or this, that, and that. This is the creme de la creme. They spent the most money. They have the most talented rosters, and it's going to be on um, national TV for everybody to see. Now, you're going to have a lot of people that are not in those markets. They're going to be mad as hell. Gonna be pissed off having to watch these two teams, but I'm glad for it. I think I'm gonna watch every game. I just want to see how Otani on that next level 
if Otani steps up the next level and they win, dude, the world yeah. is already his oyster. He's going to explode. Yeah, he's going to explode. So I'm interested to see it. I'm glad it's happening. Dodgers, Yankees. Told y'all earlier. Y'all thought I was just whatever. Puma, you can look. You can take. You can get rid of your crying towel. Okay, you can get rid of your crying towel. Yeah, yeah. And, and and truth be known, I love both these teams. I love the Yankees more, but um, I couldn't have uh, wished a better World Series and uh, to the best team win. So I, 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 I'll wear my Dodger stuff if they win, but I got to go with the Yankees right now. Uh, Black, I thought it was going to be a tough one. Uh, I, I didn't think they could pull it out, but the New York Liberty pulled it out in the WNBA championship. Your thoughts, man? Congratulations to him. I don't like what the Minnesota coach is doing, blaming the referees and all that. I don't like that. That's really unclassy of her. I mean, I'm sorry. That's that's not how you lose. It's just how you know you're going to lose, you're going to win. Your team battled valiantly. But how about calling some timeouts in that overtime? How about selling your team down when they would seem like they were just lost? They were young. They didn't know what they was doing. The inexperience showed up. You as a veteran coach should have done better. So stop looking at the referees, you know, stop blaming them. They, of course, they miss calls. Nobody's perfect. If you want perfect, put L out there. Let them call the games. You know, let, let them have it. Let them have it. Move records off the floor. But I, I, I didn't like that at all. I'm re- again, congratulations to Connecticut. They did what they had to do. But I will say this, man. You know, they, they're very lucky. Very lucky because... Minnesota, if they were a little bit more experienced, would have took that series over a long time ago. Connecticut, you have nothing to beat your chest about. Just be happy that you won because you guys have won a long time ago. You didn't really play a good series, in my opinion. But I don't know if you guys noticed this happened today, man, that the NFL, uh, WMA union decided to opt out of their contract. Look at all this influx of money that's coming in. They say, you know what, this contract, we want out of it. So basically what it really means is that if they can't come to an agreement within the next season, at the end of the next season, they can basically be locked out and not play at all. I love it. Because the NBA, WMA came out a few days ago, came out and said that they're going to lose $40 million this year. I am not buying that, yes. But they knew that there's a possibility that these players are going to start wanting my money, so they're going to start trying to cry broke. Keep an eye on this, man. This is going to do some damage or some good for the league. All right. Uh, stick with you, Black, with some quick hitters in sports. Woo! Quick hitters in sports, man. I'm going to go to... Um, Dan Campbell, I said this earlier, I want to say it again. Bro, you're finding ways to make your team work extra hard when it's not necessary. Dial that down some. You have a good offensive coordinator. You got a good defensive coordinator. Let them do what they do. Stop putting them in positions where they have to work harder to win, bro. It's not necessary. Ice, quick hitter. Yeah, quick hitter is just watching these rookie quarterbacks, right? When you look at the NFL, you look at Washington, you're doing over there, you look at even with Chicago. It's just amazing how even the younger players like to see uh, C.J. Strouds are stepping up. You have Richardson trying to get himself together over in Indianapolis. They're stepping up and they're trying to show you that they're ready to to move forward. Um, then you got the old school players too. And you got quarterbacks like him and uh, Darnold over in um, it was Minnesota. It's a it's a mixture of different things happening. And what I want to see though is who's going to step up out of all these teams and follow um, their leader. Because right now, Cincinnati looks like they're really, their defense coming on a little bit, but they're still struggling with Joe Burrow, and they still got their weapons. But who's going to step off from the pack and show us that, hey, their quarterback and whoever else is going to lead them to the promised land? I'm really excited that about that, particularly with teams like Denver winning the football game. All right. My quick hitter is to the Giants organization. Um, can you hear us now? It was a big mistake to give away Barkley. Big mistake. Last second shot, Ice. Yeah, last second shot. Uh, think about these different things coming on. Um, I'm excited about football kind of ramping up as far as not getting over, but college football is getting to the middle part of where it is in schedule. NFL's going into the second half. Baseball, we're finally wrapping it up. Like Thor has put up the grill for the, for the uh, summer going into the fall. But the one thing I'm excited about is college basketball. And I know that's Black Thor's thing. I am excited about it. I think there's going to be a lot of stuff going on with NIL. So we'll see how it goes with the tournament. I'm also excited about the NBA, too, because a lot of people don't care about it until you get down into it. But like I said before, I know we got these favorite Knicks fans over here, and they're all excited. They cheese it like Chester Cats. <laughs> like Chester Cats, something here doing what they do. But again, like I told you, I'm really looking at OKC. I'm not saying they're going to win it all, but I like the moves that they made. 
particularly with the uh, the big center uh, leaving New York, going to OKC, and getting to watch uh, my man Holmgren get to play a little power forward. Be very careful about OKC. I might have to make a trip to Chicago just to watch them play in person. For me, you got that? You got my bed ready? Am I room ready? ready? Right, ready, brother. And uh, don't, 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 don't feel bad for Black about that grill. I'm pretty sure he got a grill in his kitchen. He can grill all year long. Black, that's like a shot. I'll say this, man. You know, college basketball's coming. I, I haven't decided yet, but you know, I don't want three in a row. I think the three people can't see that. I might just sit this one out, gentlemen. You know, what more I have to prove? What more I have to do? I'm just, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about it. Got to go away with the family. Want to give some thought. You know, go in the aisle. Decide what I'm going to compete this year or not. With that being said, man, I I, I want to basically um, put this in in out there. To me, even though I see a lot of quarterbacks, black quarterbacks playing this league, and some of these teams I'm still looking at, case in point, New York Giants, seem like sometimes you guys just don't want to bring in some color. Man. I know you hired Jerry Reese as general manager, but there's been some qualified African, I mean, black quarterbacks they could have brought in, and you went with this kid from Duke. I just don't understand it. So to me, it's deeper than looking at what they did with Saquon. I'm looking at basically how sometimes the New York Giants, basically, if you're not playing defense or receiver, do they really want you to be underneath? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mine is not football related. It's about McDonald's. Um, I just found out McDonald's and Krispy Kreme have, have come together in a venture. You're an evil, evil empire, McDonald's and Krispy Kreme. Evil, evil empire. We'll be back next week, and I'm going to McDonald's. Get me a Big Mac and Krispy Kreme. <laughs>